Good morning, good morning, good morning. Shout out to the people who bought training. Shout out to the people who are about to buy training. And shout out to the Nerd Tribe. A few months ago, I had a $10,000 bet that Bitcoin was going to drop under $20,000. And in that same time frame, I said that Bitcoin was going to hit $16,000. And many of you was like, when, when you want it pinpoint accuracy right now, it's kind of hard to get to pinpoint accuracy. But another prediction, but Bitcoin went under 20,000 Bitcoin hit 16,000 24 hours ago, 24 hours ago. And guess what? It's going lower. Now, why is this? What happened? It's after the elections. The STEMI prop up program by Joe Biden and folks is over. They got your vote. Now the economy is about to fall hard. And who told you this before it happened? Because a lot of you are like, well, you know, you want you want me to give you the date, the time, the precise hour when these things are going to take place. That's the silly folks. But I told you months ago, this was going to happen. And I had a lot of folks who wanted to bet me, but here's the thing. I need you to put your $10,000 up in the escrow account because everybody wants to do what I call these phantom bets. Oh yeah, 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 man. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna bet you ten thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, handshake. And then when you lose, you disappear. It's just pointless. And when I put down my qualifications to enter this bet, that you must have ten thousand dollars. You must put it in the escrow account with the terms that when Bitcoin goes under twenty thousand, I get my money. Once I put those terms in, a lot of people were interested in betting. Oh, no, man, I don't want to bet like that. That's going to hold me accountable. That's going to keep me in check. But who told you this was coming months ago? And Bitcoin is going to go lower. And once again, all the crypto people, um, let me say something to you. Because right now, uh, the credit plug put out a community post saying, who's buying crypto on the dip? And 31% of the people are buying crypto on the dip. And someone's like, I keep buying on the dip and it keeps dipping. Once again, I give you statistical analysis based upon research, being in the marketplace, and speaking to people who are in business. And I actually was speaking to someone I know who has a trucking company. And he is kind of scared because he's got five trucks and literally he's looking off. He may have to lay off two or three drivers and he's got truck payments. He was one of the people who got into trucking when everyone had the trucking course out. And now I told him, I was like, don't do it because like once again it's hot everyone's getting into it and whenever you get into a business that is being heavily promoted heavily advertised it's just a matter of time before saturation and to the person who talked about he disagreed with airbnb i i, I hit you up with a question bro how come you don't have more airbnb since airbnb is so good why are you turning away money versus buying another airbnb i'm very interested in hearing that but once again, my economic analysis is based upon research and actually being in the marketplace. You know, every time I watch a video talking about how great Toro is, I start laughing. I actually had cars on Toro that really did not go out that well. Now, part of it is I'm very far from the airport, but man, the great stimulus prop up job that has been happening with crypto that's been happening 
expect you know there are many people who are predicting that the stock market is going to have a, in the fourth quarter rally i don't think so i think it's going to drop even more you want to know why walmart target costco their warehouses are busting at the seams with inventory which has reduced the need for trucks once again walmart is literally bursting at the seams with inventory in their warehouses target has the same situation so right now you have a situation where the largest employer in the united states which is walmart is going through an economic slowdown because once again is happening inflation is dampening the spending patterns of a lot of people and uh thank you for the impersonation when i prefer personified inflation you thought you would go get those eggs for a dollar thirty <laughs> no those eggs are now three dollars and thirty cents i'm doing that it's your boy inflation i'm out here working about to start working on diesel so you can expect everything that you need to go up in price and you can expect everything that you don't need to be on fire sale tvs um apple i'm starting to see a lot of apple products on sale on websites i've never seen that before i've never seen apple products on sale so this is all moving into the situation where the economy is showing its real skin it's real skin and once again pat myself on the back told y'all this was happening with bitcoin told you it was coming told you and a lot of you was like well i believe in bitcoin why do you believe in bitcoin because it's the safest asset out there it's had more returns than anything do you understand that bitcoin was made up in someone's basement i don't care all i know is it's a way for me to get some money but it was made up it's a made-up currency it's like literally if you wanted to make up a currency you could and put it out on an exchange oh the crypto exchanges ftx the word on the street is they're on the verge of collapse coinbase laying people off this is not me just saying this this is stuff you can google you could go ahead and look this up like i said i told you guys months ago what was going to happen before it happened and many of you who once again you have been operating in an 11 year bull market where if you any fool could have bought stocks and made money when the monetary policy was cheap money low interest rates we have moved out of that economic policy and this going to imp crypto crypto isn't supposed to be impacted by the stock market crypto down stock market down huh very interesting how it happens y'all keep telling me that crypto is immune from all of this stuff really now michael saylor the person who owns the most crypto um that four thousand dollar drop in 24 hours is just the beginning i would not be surprised if bitcoin gets to under ten thousand dollars within the next year so once again i told you guys this was going to happen i told you that as soon as the election was over things were going to start dropping and i i woke up this morning and i got an alert from coinbase it's like crypto bitcoin dropped 12 percent. i was like wait a minute i went and looked Bitcoin a week ago was 21,000. Now it's 17. 
and what it's going to do is alternate between 16 and 17 for a minute and i wouldn't be surprised if crypto takes another drop of another two thousand dollar drop see once again when i do my economic analysis i do my research i read websites but once again um i kind of keep my ear to the streets and i was watching and it's funny this person i know on this trucking company who is like freaking out at the moment they're literally freaking out i mean i was on the phone with him and his voice was shaking and then there's a youtuber just trucking uh he's been talking about how bad the market's been and he said we may have to start dipping into our youtube money to pay bills and i feel he makes about ten thousand a month from youtube because they've went out and bought all kinds of toys and a lake house and all this other stuff so good for him that he has a very strong youtube channel that isn't really based upon trucking it's more of is based upon his family he has a cute wife blonde long hair big boobs three adorable little children and i feel that the people who watch that channel they come for the family updates so even though you know he, he does trucking videos i feel that the channel would be fine because of the way that they presented their channel but once again put in the comments who told you that bitcoin was once again there was the nerd trap there, there, there's folks here who's who will verify this it's like you told us this was coming months ago months ago and it's going to go lower so once again you're grown you can do what you want if you want to keep dollar cost averaging into crypto that's your business i'm just telling you it's going to be, have an ugly outcome next two to four years i think we're going to be in this mess because um my situation with the supply chain and trying to get you know i, I had to put another car in the shop and essentially I, I tried a different shop and they got it fixed they were able to get the parts and it's i should be able to pick that up sometime today but once again guys um understand that the economy is about to go through a serious serious correction because the election is over the prop up game is over i was like honestly i was shocked that bitcoin dropped 4k in 24 hours I knew that the market conditions were set up for it to crash and you know 12 percent in 24 hours that's kind of like a crash that's kind of like a crash and um <clears throat> once again man you guys have got to understand what is going on in the marketplace everything that you need food shelter fuel medicine insurance all that's going up i'm doing the tiktok point because you know this is this is one of the craziest things like someone will make a video where they don't say anything and they'll just keep pointing at someone else just talking have we devolved as a culture where that's entertainment it's stupid to me just stupid but yeah and you know for all you crypto bulls the dollar is strong as it's ever been so crypto's crashing but the dollar's strong many of you have an argument that fiat 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 currency was worthless and that fiat currency was going to be in a bad situation so your crypto is crashing there was, you know, someone put up that X amount of millionaires were created last year due to real estate and crypto, right? At the moment, that number has seriously rolled back. See, anytime you build your wealth 
on assets that are at risk at devaluation, your net worth is at risk. Once again, the best way to get rich, the fastest way to get rich is through a business. And I'm going to keep preaching that because uh, Lucky Lopez did a video talking about the number of exotic cars coming on the market because all of the people who made a lot of money during the crypto run and the stock market run, they didn't pay cash for the cars. They financed them. And now because their assets are down, they don't have the cash flow to make the payments on these exotics. So there's a flood of exotics coming to the car market and exotic car prices are collapsing. Um, let me share some I was thinking of doing, but I'm not going to do it now because I, I see where it's heading. Uh, recently, I ordered uh, a Porsche and my Porsche with taxes and everything was like 265 and they had a Porsche on the showroom floor for 308 uh, one that had miles on it because of this crazy car market but just doing the math by the time I place an order get the car come in the, the exotic car market is not going to be what it is today so I could essentially just be ordering a car to literally sell at the price that Porsche sold it to me. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Um, because one of the things, once again, marketplace, I remember a point that Porsche had no 911s in stock, none. When I picked up my car, they had like 15. So the car market is returning back to normal car prices are crashing how do i know i'm trying to sell seven cars i'm trying to sell seven cars and um i'm struggling because people don't have cash people don't have cash and um once again, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep, like, I told you guys this, I told you this was going to, now, once again, did Graham Stephan say that crypto was going to crash? I don't watch him. I don't know. Y'all, y'all watch him. Y'all let me know. Did me, Kevin, say that crypto was going to crash? Now, value, not clear tax value, the Asian dude, he actually said the same thing that I said. He said, stocks and crypto was going to crash and crash hard. He said, there would be a dead cat bounce before it happened in crypto. Bitcoin went up to 21,000. That was the dead cat bounce. Then he said, after the dead cat bounce, boom. And here we are. So I, I do watch clear view tax because he gives a lot of accurate on point information and he feels the same way that I do. Now, also, this is something else he said. He said that if you buy crypto and hold on to it long term, then, you know, we're talking five, six, seven years, then you can double, triple or quadruple your money. And I feel that's valid because I don't care what happens to Bitcoin. I don't care if it gets down to 2000. Honestly, it gets down to 2000. I'm probably going to buy some. You want to know why? Because I know y'all are going to push it back up. If Bitcoin that gets down to 2000, I'm going to drop 100K on it. I'm going to drop 100K on it because I already know what y'all going to do. Y'all going to push it back up again. So once again, you know, if you you're, you have Bitcoin, hold, hold on for dear life for the next five to six, seven years. And you should be good. But if you're a short term speculator, which is what a lot of people are. And for the people who bought when Bitcoin was almost 70,000, you better hold on for dear life and pray that Bitcoin shoots back up to, and, you know, and once again, more than likely in the future, it will shoot back up because people are cryptocurrency is a religion. 
it's a religion it has a cult like following so you know it, it, it's gonna bounce back but in the short term for all of you with your crypto arguments well you know bitcoin can't go below a certain price it really it just did it just did and it's gonna go lower so all of your arguments that it can't you know based on what based on some shit you pulled out your ass i'm giving you technical analysis based upon real marketplace dynamics and i'm right which a lot of y'all hate some people watch the channel to see well you know uh one clown was talking about some stuff that happened three years ago on my other channel he's talking about some stuff that happened on this channel three years ago and he was talking about it on the other channel it was crazy but man 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 woo, woo, woo. get ready it's about to collapse and diesel price is going to go up gas price is going to go up chicken chicken haha -ha, it's your boy inflation out here on these streets you thought you were gonna get the wings for 250 nah seven bucks thanks to me because i'm out here working i'm out here working 24 hours a day seven days a week 31 days a month 365 i'm out i'm working overtime to make sure that your money doesn't go as far as you hope doesn't go as far as you need it to because i'm your boy inflation and i'm out here to mess up your life Wait, 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 wait.